Hello, beautiful souls. My name is Alexandra, and I offer uh, light language transmissions and healings on this channel for those of you that haven't watched my videos yet. Uh, thank you for um, showing by. And for those who have been following me, thank you so much for returning. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't uh, send, like, re uh, record and post any uh, video last week. Um, we, me and my partner, my twin, twin flame partner, uh, had a baby five months ago. I've mentioned it uh, on social media and some previous videos as well. So um, obviously I uh, want to enjoy every moment uh, with her, watching her growing up. And uh, at the same time, my partner, Gareth, is an actor, so he's gone sometimes for, uh, you know, for movies and so on and so forth. And um, yeah, it's the two of us taking care of the baby and uh, trying to uh, follow our purpose and our mission at the same time. Uh, but I am trying to uh, post as often as I can. The topic I felt guided to uh, work on today and talk about is Ascension Symptoms. Um, I did get some specific requests uh, recently about topics that you would like me to do a transmission on and I will uh, get back to you and make those transmissions. But uh, this is a topic that came up um, in my one-on-one -on -one sessions and a, a very good uh, and dear uh, star sister of mine actually too um asked me questions about it uh, one yesterday in a one-on-one -on -one session and another one via instagram and um i've been noticing these symptoms in my sessions with people and a lot of people that are not very consciously on the spiritual path they contact me for several other reasons as well but then mentioned they would have ringing in the ears and things like that um, and so I felt that this is a topic that is very um, important to address at this time. Also because we are in this uh, lion's gate energy and we are ascending at a very accelerated um, rate right now. So the symptom symptoms, ascension symptoms are increasing as well. Before I get into the information and the transmission, I have a few announcements to make. First of all, I would like to really send my deepest love and gratitude to everybody that has been donating. I'm completely humbled and um, almost um, overwhelmed because um, I knew other people also, um, you know, um, give the, their viewers the chance to give back and uh, donate if they feel guided to. Um, but it was absolutely not in my mind whatsoever when I started this channel. Um, but, um, yeah, Heart Essence is, uh, the project of my soul. It is my mission. And, uh, I have been, uh, on this spiritual journey and, uh, being a counselor and, uh, healer and guide or facilitator, whatever uh, word resonates with you for the past 10 years <clears throat> and have been working, um, uh, in this field for a long time. But now this is really me stepping up to my soul's uh, mission. So uh, we're currently working on the website and uh, working on um, really uh, putting the work out there for all of you. And um, so I called in uh, all the angels of um, that, you know, that uh, know about business and management and all these kind of things and asked them uh, to please guide me each step of the way um, with with this project and with my mission. And especially the moment I started the YouTube channel, that's when I called them in and said, OK, you need to really help me here um, because my human aspect has, you know, its insecurities and fears. And I still do. Um, but yeah, basically what happened was that at some point, I think two weeks ago, uh, they told me suddenly, like, uh, give people a chance to give back and, you know, put your PayPal over there. Uh, and I was like, yeah, OK, I'm going to do it. Everything I do is always divinely guided and inspired. Obviously, I have my slip ups because I also have a human aspect, <laughs> just like everybody else. But uh, with Heart Essence, with this YouTube channel, with my work, I really act out of pure guidance. And most of the time, I, I don't even, um, you know, think about it too much. Earlier, I used to doubt myself and maybe um, 
resist uh, certain guidance steps or uh, you know, uh, procrastinate and so on and so forth. Now I said, I'm just going to completely surrender to it. That's why sometimes when I'm recording these videos, you might hear an um and a uh in the middle of me of what I'm saying um, because I just hop online and I'm just um, a clear channel and um, kind of step aside and allow the universe and my higher self and all the beings, the light beings to um, transmit these energies through me for you. So I did that. Uh, not really thinking that anybody is going to react to it. Um, and as I said, I'm completely humbled and almost overwhelmed with the response and the donations I've received. So I'm, I really want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. And um, what I decided to do is to create a light language symbol, a unique individual light language symbol for each month. Um, and everyone that is sending a donation is going to receive that symbol uh, sent by me via email to the email that the donation is made through. So in case some of you um, don't use that email that is connected to your PayPal very often or it's not your primary email, then when you do make a donation, please, uh, you know, in the comment section, uh, I had very beautiful comments along with the donations. Thank you. But in the comment section, please add uh, the email that you would like me to send that uh, light language symbol to so you can receive it. Everybody that has donated so far has received that uh, their symbol uh, from me. I hope you found it. <laughs> um, and if you haven't, then please uh, comment below or uh, send us an email and uh, I'm going to get back to you and resend it to the right email. The topic of last month was abundance in all forms and the topic for this month is unconditional compassion for self and others. I always listen to my higher guidance regarding the topics and um, but if there's anything you would like me to uh, do one on and if I notice that the same topic keeps coming up then I can do that as well of course. Um, the symbols that I will be sending you, the, the donors, the people that are sending the donations, are going to be exclusive for you. I won't be sharing them uh, anywhere else. Uh, and that is basically a token of my appreciation for um, your unconditional love and support. Um, and another thing that I also wanted to mention is that in case any of you are interested in purchasing their own light language symbol, then that is also available and uh, possible for you um, starting with now or <laughs> any other time in the future. And uh, it will be possible to purchase uh, uh, some that are already made on specific topics uh, or your unique individual one for any topic that you have in mind or that you're struggling with in the near future as soon as the website is up and running. I also wanted to mention that I had a beautiful, beautiful soul, uh, Eleonora, uh, contact me. We connected through Instagram and she uh, offered, generously offered from her heart to uh, create uh, captions in Persian for uh, people in her area and her community. Uh, we're currently working on it. She's working on the translations and she uh, already sent them over. Right now, YouTube still has to review them, as far as I understood. Uh, my partner is always helping me in the background. That's why it's actually the two of us in this, in, in the Heart Essence um, community and in the work that we're doing. Um, so he's uh, looking at that right now and following the steps. So I don't know much about it, but as far as I know, uh, she's doing the translations. That's what I uh, discussed with her and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you if you're watching and I'm sending you all my love. Um, and yeah, uh, Gareth, my partner, said that YouTube has to review it. And as soon as they review it, I think uh, they will be available for the videos for the people that would like to have these captions. Um, I also wanted to thank everyone for the suggestions that you've been sending uh, with topics that you would like me to do the transmission on. I've been asking and requesting for you guys to do it since the beginning and also yeah, I am getting feedback. Um, so I will be definitely uh, getting into these topics. Uh, I have a huge list of topics that I want to get into uh, during the coming weeks and months. Uh, but as I said, um, 
I, um, I'm not having a difficulty because I love my daughter, uh, but it is complicated to do the videos as often as I would right now because uh, I am a new mom and I have a super beautiful starseed baby at home. And yeah, I, I want to um, give the best of myself uh, on both in both, both worlds and enjoy both uh, without creating any friction or pressure or, um, you know, getting into some kind of disbalance. Um, and I wanted to also let you know regarding a few uh, future topics. So I will be um, starting a few series. That doesn't mean that the videos are going to be posted on the same topic um, from beginning to end of the series, but it means that uh, I was guided to work on specific themes and I will be posting videos on different aspects of those themes. And um, once they're done, I will organize all of them in playlists so all of you guys can uh, orient yourself and really find whatever is uh, useful for you in the moment on the YouTube channel. So uh, the first topic, and it's actually also one of the topics that somebody mentioned recently, is working on feminine and masculine energy. So we'll be working on healing, integrating, forgiving uh, the feminine as well as the masculine energy. I'm going to do them individually. And there's going to be another video regarding balancing these two. Then another series that I want to uh, start uh, is the Healing Love series. So that's going to be all about love relationships. Um, and for example, uh, one thing that I'm going to talk about is clearing obstacles and, and um, meeting the right person, twin flames, uh, healing the heart, healing from you know separation and healing the broken heart from any kind of traumas we had from divorces or anything like this. And I'm also going to be going into specific relationship styles or they're also called attachment styles. So one of the topics that came through was working on interdependent, codependent, and avoidant attachment styles. Um, and basically really looking at the relationship patterns we've observed from our parents and how they affect us and how we attract certain types of partners uh, according to the energy that we had at home uh, coming from our parents. So there's going to be a lot about that. Um, and the other series that I'm going to be posting on in the near future uh, is going to be a body healing series, um, basically where we are activating the healer within you and going through all the body systems and uh, clearing all the associated trauma and blockages, uh, the karma associated with it. And, you know, in case uh, any of you had an operation and is still somehow dealing with that on an energetic level, um, we're going to be going into that as well and also clearing and rebalancing the meridians and many, many other things like that. Um, and then obviously starting with today, uh, I'm going to start this Ascension series. Uh, that's why the video today is about Ascension symptoms. Um, but I also am going to be going into topics such as, you know, letting go of judgment, zero points, stepping into oneness, um, help with the dark night of the soul, moving from fear to playfulness and joy and all the 5D frequencies um, and, um, you know, many other topics in um, around that, that area. So I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Now I'm going to step into the uh, part of the video regarding the ascension symptoms. Um, as I said, I had a lot of people mention that uh, during the years and also lately. And first of all, I want to go into the question of what are ascension symptoms? Ascension symptoms are symptoms that usually, mostly, do not have a physical component. So if you are going through some ascension symptom, whether you know it or not, and you go to the doctor uh, and uh, mention that to your doctor, and your doctor says, I've searched everything, there's absolutely no explanation for what you're going through, then probably it's going to be an ascension symptom. Um, because what's happening is we are shifting from a carbon-based structure to a light structure, a crystalline structure. And if any of you are into, you know, ancient texts and, and you know, like the Vedas or 
uh, all the Tibetan or Buddhist texts, then you will know that they, there, um, there are a lot of texts about the rainbow body, uh, the light body, the Merkaba, and, and so on. So, and uh, you will also find a lot of texts about um, enlightened monks um, that left their physical body and ascended into their light version. So earlier in time, before this um, accelerated ascension that we're going through right now, when the energies on our planet were denser, um, it was not possible for people to move into um, their crystalline form while being in the physical body. So they had to leave their physical body and basically allow their physical body to die uh, in order to ascend into their crystalline form. And some of them obviously could still manifest, uh, you know, in a physical form and return back to their crystalline form, uh, such as Mahavtar Babaji, for example, and many other ones. Uh, but basically, this is how it used to happen. The reason why this particular time uh, on the uh, planet Earth history is so important and why many of us chose to be here right now is because we are shifting as we remain in the physical body. And that is the main reason why we are going to these ascension symptoms. So, um, I have so much written down, that's why I keep looking down. Um, what's important to understand is that our planet, Gaia, is shifting into a 5D frequency. It already kind of is in a 5D frequency. Um, so she's emanating these 5D frequencies. At the same time, we are receiving 5D frequencies from the universe. And we also have different um, light beings, star beings, and so on that are currently in our Earth atmosphere, um, in uh, orbs, ships, or whatever you want to call them, that are really blasting our planet with high frequencies right now to help clear the density, to help uh, awaken people, to help with the restructuring of all the 3D um, matrices that have been keeping us in place or keeping these veils of illusion um, in place and not allowing us to really wake up to who we truly are and to the truth and reality as it truly is uh, in divine truth, let's say. What I also want to mention is uh, something that I received from Archangel Metatron a while ago. I posted a transmission um, to help those that have an angelic origin or that have an angelic connection to remember that energy within them. Uh, and I'm totally connected to that because, to be honest, I'm still exploring this and everything is so multidimensional that it's very hard to be very linear when you talk about these things. But I did discover about myself that I have a galactic component and I also have an angelic component. How that really works, I'm going to get into it uh, and ask my guys, but to be honest, I haven't had the time yet. So many of you might be drawn to one of them and maybe many of you might be drawn to both, uh, such as I am. But basically what, what Archangel Metatron said in the um, channeled message was that the ascension process is also different between star seeds, angelics, uh, you know, all different types of light workers, wherever they, they come from, and earth seeds. And I'm only using these labels so that it's easy for you to understand what I mean. So in an earth seed is going to have much more difficulty and will encounter much more resistance and obstacles and density while they are going through this ascension process. What I also want to mention here is that certain souls are choosing to not participate in this ascension process. And that is why um, we have been noticing an increase in certain diseases. I'm not going to mention which ones also this year so that you understand me, but also throughout the, the other years such as cancer and many, many other diseases. There is an increase in such diseases because certain souls... Um, do not resonate with these high frequencies, do not want to participate in this ascension process, and that is their choice, and that is nothing for us to judge. Um, so, um, as I said, earth seeds, it's not like all of them are going to be like, no, I don't want to be part of this, but some of them will, and um, they are going to basically, uh, by choice, on a certain level, leave their physical body, and um, they will obviously be helped by the universe to... Um, get into a space or onto a planet or in a dimension that resonates with the frequency that they want to embody. So uh, starseeds, angelics, lightworkers of any kind, 
um, do have an ease in their ascension process and the symptoms that they encounter because they are doing it by choice and because many of them already activated their rainbow consciousness and rainbow body in other lifetimes, many of them uh, already had their Kundalini awakening, many of them are constantly working on themselves, such as I am and I'm sure many of you are. And so we are opening the channel, we are opening ourselves up to the light, the universe, to the love, to unity consciousness, and so on and so forth. So by opening up, there is not so much tightness and resistance towards these frequencies. But that doesn't mean that we don't have them. I also have them, and many of the people I know have them, and many of my clients as well. So now I'm going to go into the symptoms themselves. They, basically, an ascension symptom could be anything, really, truly anything from what I've observed. Um, but um, I also want to state here that all the information I'm giving you on this channel or on any social media channel that uh, I'm sharing information on is only information that has to do with my own personal experience and what I've noticed and learned and observed from my clients and the people that I've worked with or that I'm related to in any way. Um, obviously, I do read about things and I listen to, to other people and I have certain um, other uh, people that are on the spiritual path that I follow myself on YouTube and, and, and that I've learned from and so on and so forth. But um, I'm only going to share with uh, you with the heart tribe, uh, with the people that follow uh, me, only that information that is really gained through observation and not through, um, you know, learning from others or um, kind of like taking that information and just um, spilling it out uh, as if it were my own. So if any of this doesn't resonate with you, uh, then please, please pick and choose whatever does. Um, and if nothing resonates, then, you know, I'm sure there are many other people out there uh, where that are embodying the frequency that you need. Um, and there is no uh, judgment in that. Uh, you know, my intention is to really connect to those people that resonate with me, uh, that uh, are open to what I have to share, that are open to receive it. Um, and for us to really slowly build a community and uh, bring more light, love and more heart energy into the world and participate in the ascension process in our own unique way. Um, so the ascension symptoms basically could be really anything. Um, I know those people having symptoms around the head area, which could be ringing in the ears, dizziness, headaches, pressure in the front, on the side, in the back, uh, on any side, basically. Um, you can also have tingling or like burning sensation around your brain. Uh, sometimes I really had this feeling as if my brain is on fire um, or as if the synaptic connections are really firing up extremely and I'm like, oh my God, what's happening in my head kind of sensation. Um, then what I also had was um, a strong sensitivity to lights, which I still have sometimes, especially neon lights or very bright lights um, can be like way too much for me um, or very unnatural, uh, unnatural lights as well. Um, and another thing that I noticed is issues with seeing. So obviously if you're noticing that you suddenly are seeing like it just suddenly happened, um, then you should definitely check it out. And if any of the ascension symptoms are very intense and you are not sure what it is, then you should definitely go and see a doctor um, because we have all these bodies and one of them is the physical body. And so you should definitely um, see an expert for your physical body um, if there's something going on there that um, is causing you any um, situation. Um, but uh, yeah, there could be um, issues with seeing, ma meaning maybe blurred vision or extremely tired eyes or, um, as I said, sensitivity to light um, or, you know, different, different other experiences. It could be so many different things. This video could go on basically forever. Um, but yeah, these are some of the symptoms that I've noticed around the head area and that I've seen with the people that I've been working with. Um, what we're going to do now is go into a light language transmission that is specifically for uh, symptoms around the head area. I wanted to somehow make them in categories so it's easier 
uh, for me to explain these things to you and also so that the light language is um, more focused on uh, the particular topic uh, or issue that you might be struggling with. So we're going to get into clearing um, any density, any energies, programs, uh, beliefs, or anything um, that might be causing, um, you know, um, let's say, difficulties in the light really entering and being integrated within you and these um, ascension, this ascension process um, that is slowing down the ascension process or creating this this kind of uh, these kind of symptoms for you. Hatta Okay, and yes, somebody uh, commented under uh, the last video stating that I'm drawing light codes into the air with my hand and that is true. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. Then the next uh, part uh, that I want to go into is ascension symptoms revolving around digestion issues, intolerances, and weight. Um, so what I notice here, it could be constipation, diarrhea, IBS, uh, any kind of intolerance, such as lactose intolerance. Um, and it could also be that you haven't had these things before and they suddenly appear. That's what, how usually, how these ascension symptoms usually show up. You could also notice uh, weight loss or weight gain. That is not really explicable. But you could also have it because you suddenly feel like eating less uh, or you suddenly eat like feeling, uh, feel like eating more. You could suddenly feel like eating more liquids um, or switching up your diet, getting into vegetarianism, veganism, raw food. Um, or maybe if you've been in that area, you could suddenly feel like eating meat all of a sudden, you know? So, um, I was a vegetarian, partially vegan for like 11 years. And then, uh, suddenly last year I suddenly had, I was living with one, a very good close friend of mine, a soul sister, uh, and, um, she was still eating meat and eggs and fish and so on. And um, I, I mean, I'm constantly listening to my body and I just suddenly felt that my body wants to have that. And I really waited for a while because, you know, after being, you know, a vegetarian and as I said, um, I had long periods of veganism as well for such a long time. It is kind of like a, a moral, ethical issue on a human mental level. But at the end of the day, you know, um, as I said, we are shifting on a physical level, so we have to listen to our physical body. And sometimes um, we need to just, you know, put our ego mind aside with these kind of moral ethical structures when it comes to the health of our body and our body's needs, because we wouldn't be alive if our body would not function properly. Um, and it's interesting because when I started having those uh, feelings, I also saw other spiritual uh, guides, healers, and so on on YouTube saying that they also suddenly feel like eating meat. Um, and so if that happens, just go with it. Don't judge yourself. Don't judge the experience. Uh, you are mutating. We are all mutating. I know this sounds weird, but it's true. Um, and so because we are really mutating into a higher version of ourselves, we have to really just be compassionate and love ourselves through it no matter what shows up, okay? 
that's my uh, biggest uh, advice for you during um, these uh, ascension times and during these ascension symptom issues. So I'm going to go into a light language transmission now specifically related to these topics I just mentioned with intolerances, uh, uh, digestive issues, and uh, weight gain, weight loss. Um, and then we're going to move on. ほくらなはかしゃったくれてきてやろのこなな裏なやこてしてきてやたおろことおるやてかあなほくとるとくりやなあねやのののあなやはからえらおろしょとねえきりやたあらふりやてきてとくりやなあねやふるてななおのこて
Të kërja kirja të ta arej kishit të rja të kara shumë të gëdi i rja të kene. Të kirja të hurru na ana ja, urra na ja na. Huku të na e nuk rra ne e ne e ona hurru ne. Të kërja na të kërja të kërja të kërja të di. Të kërja shet të kërja të kana ja hurri në 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 urru kënë në ana huku. Të kërja e na shata hara kërja të urru këtu të heke në ja huku në unu e në kërja të. Okay. And I have two more topics I want to talk about. The next one is general and explicable pain, uh, pressure in the body, in any area of the body, fatigue, um, lack of sleep. Um, or basically only wanting to sleep no matter what you do. Um, what I also noticed regarding the ascension process within myself and my loved ones and people I work with is that many have this specific window, the magic window uh, that they wake up in, which is between three and five. And if you are, um, um, you know, if you went into the whole um, yogic path, which I have um, during the years, then you will know that, um, generally speaking, a lot of um, um, old scriptures and a lot of um, enlightened uh, masters in India or in Asia mention that the mo best time to practice uh, any pranayama or, you know, hatha yoga or any types of, of yoga or yogic practices is between three and five or three and six, some say, but I would say three and five from what I, what I learned, either in the morning or in the afternoon. That's supposed to be the time when the energies are aligned in such a way where you get the most benefit. So the fact that people randomly wake up during that time is not really coincidental. Um, and it's also somehow part of the ascension process, even if it's difficult. And I had it uh, a lot last year, also during the pregnancy. Um, which the women out there listening to me will know that anyway, sleeping can get a bit difficult after a while uh, when your belly starts to get bigger. So it was a bit difficult. Um, but um, yeah, I guess it's just a matter of allowing um, and just really listening to your body and um, giving your body what it needs, as, I, as I've been explaining uh, before. So this part is about any inexplicable pain, fatigue, lack of sleep, or uh, wanting to sleep too much. And kind of, you know, um, activating your, the matrix within you that regulates how much energy you have so that um, your body can uh, get some more support in, in balancing with these um, incre increased energies and increased um, sh changes and shifts in sleeping or um, dealing with this fatigue that, that we're all going through on a certain level. Tukurena hakiri uru atakara uteshiti kriata kurutu unu nu 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 ane enea hakan enea hakurutu tu hikiata ene shikiti enea uru na ata ana ana horukutu ateria kata tukurutu ene kitiria na hukuru no no yane nea na hara hiria kate hukuru tu shiti kriat shatana ya shutu kuturu nana ya heria nana horutu tikiana hukeshiti ya shiti kriata hakara ya hene ねやねなのうのやけてしてきりゃたうるやけててきりゃなねやふくるなはないけねやとくのないやねえにやらなのうのうのやあんなやけりやなはかたとくりゃなえしてきりゃなななうるのののやねねやなうるくてやたからえ
that I want to uh, get into is psychic phenomena. So as we are moving into our crystalline form, uh, our psychic senses are getting activated. Some uh, were born with them to a certain level, such as I was, um, and some suddenly started experiencing them as they, you know, went into mindfulness and started looking within and kind of uh, detaching from the outer world as much as you know um, the majority of people do on our planet and really observing more and so as we do that we are going to start um, noticing other realities other worlds uh, starting noticing our guides synchronicities numbers and all kinds of stuff um, but the ascension process accelerates these um, phenomena and uh, some of us are um, okay with that um, and some of us are taken by surprise and might get scared so in my case my life looks something like this that um, sometimes i'm awake around three o'clock or 3 30 or 3 33 <laughs> and then i just open my eyes and suddenly i can psychically see um, this actually happened during the lion's gate last year I can psychically see a lion just sitting in my room uh, looking at me um, and uh, kind of like having a message for me. So then even though I'm half asleep, like I wake up and I'm like, OK, if my guides tell me that it's good for me and that it's you know, not, uh, you know, not um, some false light experience, uh, which I don't have much of, but um, they're still there. Um, if so, if I'm guided to, then I'm, I, I would say, okay, I'm opening myself up to the transmission that you have for me. Or um, another time, it was the same. I woke up around 3 o'clock and suddenly I could see in the room that I'm in right now, um, just a dragon flying in from one side through the wall and looking at me and then just moving and flying through the other wall and just going on its way, basically. <laughs> so things like this can happen. But I also met people that don't have this kind of lifestyle the way I do, let's say, and that, uh, I don't know, woke up and suddenly saw some being floating above them or above their partner and really got uh, freaked out. So the part of the transmission uh, now is going to be with, um, you know, releasing fear about the psychic phenomena, clearing the judgment about it, and going into allowing uh, with whatever it is that you're being presented, but um, uh, also um, increasing your sense of safety and also your um, discernment so that you can recognize light and false light and really be attuned to that truth vibration so that when you have these psychic phenomena, you know how to navigate them because depending whether you are still more in a fourth dimensional frequency or fifth dimensional frequency, um, you can encounter uh, beings that uh, have an intention to look like other beings and kind of trick you and stuff like that. I don't want to scare anybody, so I'm not going to go into details. Topics like this are going to be topics that I'm going to be talking about more um, later on in more of like a membership kind of community. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do that, maybe over a Patreon or I'm not sure. But there are certain topics that I don't feel comfortable discussing in great detail uh, on such a public platform because, um, you know, some people might suddenly watch this video that haven't heard about these kind of things at all and I don't want to freak anybody out. Uh, or kind of like stop them in their tracks with their own evolution and ascension journey um, because of what I'm sharing. Um, but basically, this is these are the kind of things that we're going to be clearing now for you so you can navigate it uh, safely and easily and without any kind of resistance, judgment or fear. Hukutara hana hekiri ana kurene ikitia tukure na hekiri ne na uru no no na ne na hakiri hata kara hukuri atehi tikiri ana hera huru kututura ya ne ya na huru kishitiri ata shatera ne huru shuturu ne iri kuto tiki shatere ne ya na uru no ya hekiri shitikiti tukuru ne ya hekara ya na kuru ne ya ne ya na ha 
I don't want to uh, make this video too long, that's why I've been talking a bit faster in this video. Um, but I do want to mention a few things that helped me quickly uh, before I end the recording. So we are talking about a shift in consciousness, which I'm going to get into that in the next video where I'm going to talk about stepping into 5D consciousness itself. This part, this video was about the sentient symptoms that we experience in the physical body primarily. Um, but next video, the next video is going to be um, about the consciousness and the mind aspect and the spiritual and emotional aspect. Um, but um, because we're talking about uh, the body and the body's uh, shift uh, and mutation, if we want to call it that, then um, for that, I have a few suggestions. So first of all, um, as I said, listen to your body, uh, notice what your body is trying to tell you. Um, if you, um, you know, want to uh, change your diet or start incorporating herbs and, and different things, then, then listen to that if that's what you feel guided to do. Um, and what worked well for me and what's helping me is incorporating a higher frequency um, uh, elements into my diet. So that would be, in my case, what I use is spirulina, chlorella, um, and there are many other herbs out there. There's ashwagandha, there's um, um, alpha alpha, and there's there's moringa, there's so many different things. Uh, but for me, in my case, I use spirulina and chlorella, and I would strongly suggest that you look that look these up if you haven't heard of them yet. Um, because they can offer um, a, a strong and a, like a wide amount of um, nutrients um, without tiring your body through the digestive process. So you can take them as powder and just mix it up with your water and maybe add some lemon because it tastes like algae, which that's what they basically are. Um, or you can take them in as capsules. Um, so this is something that that's really helpful and as I said because it's a powder form it's not going to tire your body through digestion like for example when we eat broccoli or high fiber stuff they can be very very healthy for us but because of the high amount of fiber your body has to work a lot to break that down and take in the nutrients which is not the case with spirulina and chlorella. Another thing which uh, works for me and I use regularly is zeolite um, it's a type of volcanic powder um, that, and the good or the special thing about it is that it's amazing for detox. And there's a lot of detox stuff you can use out there. Chlorella is also very good for detoxing, but zeolite and chlorella is the same in a, on a certain level, but they're just different um, supplements you can use, and I use both. But the main thing about stuff that helps you, your body detox is that a lot of the things that um, you know are commonly known, what they do is that they start releasing the toxins from your body, but the problem is that they then end up in your bloodstream. So your body can actually get overwhelmed because of the detoxification itself. Because if it's strong, uh, or if you have a lot of toxins in your body, then you suddenly have all of that moving through your body, and your body might not be able to release it as fast as it gets, um, uh, gets um, you know, uh, broken down um, from the detoxing um, supplements that you're taking. So chlorella, uh, and uh, chlorella and zeolite, sorry, 
what they both do is that they pull the toxins out, uh, heavy metals, uh, pesticides, or any kind of stuff. They pull them out of your, your cells and your body and your tissues and everything and organs, but they kind of work like a bubble and they pull everything out and into that uh, specific structure that they have. Um, I, I'm not very good with chemistry, so I can't explain it to you, but you can look it up. They pull it out of the body and they encapsulate it in kind of like a bubble structure. And that is the form that it gets released from your body as. So when you, you know, go to the bathroom, um, you're going to just release that, those bubbles that have the toxins within them and they basically don't get uh, straight out released into your blood system and so you basically can avoid overwhelming your system because of these toxins. Um, these are a few things that I use. Um, what I also use is a grounding mat. Uh, I can't tell you the brand, but there are many on Amazon. You can, you can even find grounding bed sheets that have like silver in them. Uh, the grounding mats are cheaper. The bed sheets are a bit more expensive. You can check it out and see whatever works for you price-wise. Um, but basically, it's a mat that uh, you uh, has a cord. Basically, you um, just plug it into the normal electricity socket. And that's how when you sleep on it or sit on it or whatever, um, you get the electrical... Uh, energy that's what we would normally get from uh, the ground from Gaia but that we hardly get because we are not walking around barefoot anymore in our society in this day and age and because even um, you know the shoes that we wear they don't usually have uh, leather soles they're usually rubber so um, normally we would get a lot of um, electrical energy from Mother Earth but because of our lifestyle, we do not. So these grounding mats really help your body take that in. And it helps a lot with autoimmune stuff, um, with, you know, uh, rege regeneration, rejuvenation, and many other things. It helps, you know, if, if a person is um, has like maybe more of an anxious personality or a, uh, you know, stressed out nervous system. It also helps for, um, you know, if you have sleep issues, um, yeah, and obviously, I mean, you can integrate many things into your lifestyle to help with the ascension process. You can start using crystals. There are a lot of crystals that are connected to the body more um, or that open open you up for these higher vibrational energies. Um, you can use essential oils as well. Um, what I also suggest is, is that you take salt baths. Um, depending on what you do, you might want to take them more often. Like I do it... A few times a week because of the type of work that I do because I do a lot of energy work so I have to keep myself clear for myself also for my own uh, health but also for um, you know so I can be a clear channel uh, for the people that I um, work with um, and you can use a natural salt sea salt that would be the best and you can also add um, you know any type of um, clay to it because it's very good for the skin and that also pulls stuff out. Zeolite is also a type of clay but there are many different types out there. Uh, and what you can also add is Epsom salts. Um, even if it sounds like salt, it's a different type of salt and it has a lot uh, of minerals in it. So as you are taking a bath and you use normal salt that purifies all your energy bodies and everything and relaxes you and the Epsom salt is going to help your body take all those minerals in as you're in the bath. And yeah, these uh, salt baths um, should last at least 15 to 20 minutes um, to really get the, um, you know, the most uh, benefit out of them. Um, yeah, and there's so many other things you could do. I mean, you could start by looking at all the chemicals that you are ingesting or putting in your body. Um, maybe try to use, uh, you know, organic stuff, um, try to maybe if you wear makeup, uh, try to use more natural things. There's so many things, but these were the first things that came to mind and that I usually, um, you know, take a lot of care that I, they, I keep doing them on a day to day basis and obviously drinking a lot of water. Um, yeah. So as I mentioned, the next um, video is going to be about stepping into 5D consciousness. Um, and I also wanted to mention before I end this that 
whatever you're going through at this moment, whatever uh, things might be happening, you should never forget that the universe is on your side. The universe is supporting you. Your guys are with you. And you can't do anything wrong during this process. You can make it easier for yourself, but you can't do anything wrong or you can't make any mistake to kind of like block it. Um, so um, it's already happening to all of us. Uh, and thank God, you know, the people that are watching this uh, video and um, most of the people that I know and the people in my life, the people that I work with are uh, consciously on this spiritual ascension path. Um, so it is easier for us than people that are completely disconnected from this part of their life because they are going through these experiences without having any clue or information about it. So if you meet anybody that is going through this, uh, you could, um, you know, share this information with them. Or if you have any friends that might benefit from this video, please share it with them. And please like and subscribe if you, um, uh, you know, if it was interesting for you and helpful. I love you very much. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram because I do post a light language transmission uh, as art form on different topics and I actually have one about stepping into 5D consciousness or no actually it's about activating your 5D uh, template so that's on Facebook if you go to the Facebook page the information is down below and at the end of the video um, and um, if any of you are interested in contributing or giving back then the donation link is below and thank you very much I'm sending you all my love and I hope this video is going to help you navigate this reality and your reality with more ease and grace and flow and help you step more and more into your heart's essence and radiate it out into the world and I'm going to see you soon. Bye!